underneath this towel is a new hair color and it's not the hair color I asked for. So long story short, I have been twice now. This is what I asked for. This is what I got. So I complained about it and they were like, yes, of course, we're gonna fix it for you. Like, don't worry about it. So I went in yesterday and I sent them again the image that I wanted. And yeah, this is what I got. We are pretty much back to the same hair that I started with. So they basically just bleached it and then dyed it back dark. And I never got what I wanted in the beginning. So <laughs> that's fun. Anyway, we are doing a little bit of spring autumn cleaning and then we're gonna head out and do some grocery shopping. And tonight I've got a little birthday dinner with some friends. So yeah, let's go right into it. First, we're gonna make a little matcha to go do the grocery shopping with. So I take about a teaspoon, maybe it's a tablespoon, who knows. We mix it with some hot water, a little bit more. We mix it. So once it's all like mixed in and dissolved into the hot water, I add a little special ingredient. This, believe it or not, is honey. So I take a tablespoon of honey. Ooh. Then I mix that in. Then I add some oat milk. I used to have it with almond milk. You can have it with whatever milk your heart desires. And that, my friends, is how I make a matcha, baby. I got a little fringe too, which I kind of like, but this is way too dark, people. This is way too dark. All right, that's enough of that. Matcha. Matcha and kitty cat, hi. What is that is? Big shout out to Valeria, who I just met in the shop, who also buys the same cat food as me and watches my YouTube video. Well, she's watched one YouTube video. Anyway, hi Valeria. You're famous now. Okay, this is a disaster. So I got these, the little rice cakes. Spinach, gotta get those greens in. We got a lovely piece of broccoli. Now, can you notice something? It's not wrapped in plastic. Then I got some of these like whole grain or what, five grain rice because I'm trying to be healthy along with some whole grain pasta we got a yellow pepper we got a red pepper two more avocados got some conditioner for my hair so my veggie section is looking so much better now how sexy is that please it's the evening. I need to know what we think about this outfit even though by the time you watch this I probably would have already worn it out. Let's go. Yeah, we're on the same table. <laughs> Salud. 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 Is this a photo? Oh. Oh, no. Lucy. Uh, I bought the carpet. We have one of that. Is this having fun? Yeah. It looks amazing as well. This is a new Orleans sour. That looks good. Ooh, it does look good. Wow. Okay. 
Good morning. So last night was fun. I stayed out way longer than a sober person should, but I wanted to kind of like push myself. I'm trying to push myself a little bit more. Do the same as I used to do, but just without the alcohol. Okay. Can I help you? As you know, my husband is in Argentina now and every Sunday when he's there, they go to his dad's house and his dad cooks the most amazing pasta dish. He just messaged me today that he's at his dad's and they're having pasta and I just got insane jealousy. So I'm gonna make some homemade pasta today. I'm gonna attempt to make some pasta sorrentinos, which is like stuffed pasta. I'm gonna stuff it with tomatoes and basil and then have like a homemade tomato sauce as well. I don't know how it's gonna work. I need flour. I'm just gonna free pour it because I just believe in that, you know? Egg. Ooh. Damn it! Fuck! So we have this ball of dough, which, I mean, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look that bad. Okay, next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the salsa fire. Woo! A pan, olive oil. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Some onions. I got onion tears. Chippity toppity the garlic. Let that cook on low for like five, ten minutes. It's just so emotional. I'm gonna add those sexy tomatoes. Now we are just rolling. Rolly, rolly. Ah! I've already cut out these little pasta shapes, they're the bottoms. Now we're gonna need to cut out a little bit bigger ones for the lids. A little bit of tomato, basil, a little bit of cheese. We're going to... Okay, they're all stuffed. Ooh, there they are, bubbling away. Here we go. How good do these look? And then all you gotta do is just add a bit of the sauce. And that is the end of my little Sunday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure you give me a little like, a subscribe, a comment. It really helps boost my channel. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.